सर आपको बताना चाहता हूँ चाइना में एक एग्जीबिशन लगा था हाल ही में अच्छा अच्छा जिसका नाम था डब्ल्यू आर सी अच्छा अच्छा डब्ल्यू आर क्यू डब्ल्यू आर सी दो हजार बाईस को कहते हैं बाबू चाइना का रोबोट का सबसे बड़ा मेला था अच्छा था। क्या हुआ नई नई टेक्नोलॉजीज़ नए नए रोबोट दिखाए गए तो हम चाहते हैं सर आप इस वीडियो को देखिए और उन रोबोट्स को देखिए उसके बाद अपनी प्रतिक्रिया अरे सर पिछले कई रोबोट देख चुका हूँ मैं इस मंच के माध्यम से बड़ा मजा आया कहाँ पहुँचा दिया क्या तरक्की करी अब आप करो मेले ही लगा दिया तो ये तो देखने वाली बात है यार सर रोबोट तो मैं भी देख चुका हूँ यहीं पे इस मंच के माध्यम से बाकी आप बता रहे हो कि पूरा मेला लगा हुआ है तो उसमें ऐसे ऐसे रोबोट मिलेंगे की जिसने अभी तक हमने देखे नहीं होंगे ऐसे ऐसे रोबोट मिलना बाबू भाई आज तो क्या हमने क्या इनकी बात सहमत हूँ और मेरे अगर जैसे तो ऐसे वो कोई सी रोबोट है जो जिन्होंने उसका मेला लगा दिया चलो देखते हैं The World Robot Conference 2022 was held in Beijing. Due to the ongoing offline pandemic, only Chinese robotics companies were represented, while the rest of the world joined in the online format. But the Chinese beasts were also, as always, a lot to see. We gathered the most interesting things from the largest robot exhibition in today's one video. Let's dive in. The Chinese robotics market is developing more than rapidly. The country has remained the world's largest consumer of industrial robots for eight consecutive years and is increasing production of its own every year. There were many industrial and medical robots, robots for logistics, agriculture, and construction. Unfortunately, Xiaomi did not come, which recently presented its robot Menoid Cyber One, in which we told you about in the issue, and you can find that right here in the tip. UB Tech Robotics was also absent with their Walker robot, yet even. Even without them, the bionic and anthropomorphic robots became the magnet for the visitors to the show. One of the most striking booths was at the X Robots, which is the leader in the research and development of intelligent humanoid robots in China, and also maintains a leading position in the world for bionic skin and mass production capabilities of bionic robots. The company combined humanoid robots and meta universe technology to create science and technology museum of the future EX. They brought humanoid robots resembling scientist Albert Einstein and Taiwanese pop singer Teresa Tang to the exhibition, as well as a sympathetic robot and a robot avatar. Our method of creating exo robots has been around for a long time, more than 10 years. Humanoid robots are a special kind of product. The degree of complexity of their production technique is the highest because we want to make robots even more similar to humans. Why? To allow them to better integrate into our human society so they can replace humans at work. The most interesting exhibit at EX Robots was a robot avatar that replicates one of the company's employees. It uses a camera to analyze the movements and facial expressions of a living person and repeats them. Another robot, according to developers, was created to understand human emotions and respond to them accordingly. Ooh. The anthropomorphic EX robots have up to 140 degrees of freedom throughout their bodies oh, and they're equipped with independently developed ROS operating systems. The robot's torso and limbs are controlled by dozens of flexible actuators, making their movements and facial expressions more realistic. CloudMind's Technology, a Chinese developer of humanoid service robots and facial recognition systems, brought Cloud Ginger XR1, which entertained the visitors of the exhibition with its dancing. The robot can move smoothly thanks to 34 smart flexible joints in the neck, shoulders, elbows, wrists, and arms, as well as the waist and knees. Equipped with multiple 2D and 3D cameras, LiDAR, ultrasonic sensors, microphones, a tricycle chassis, and universal wheels, Cloud Ginger can also sing, move autonomously, and avoid obstacles. The graceful robot humanoid is 158 centimeters tall and weighs 65 kilograms. It has a rather attractive appearance which made it the winner of the Chinese Red Star Design Award in 2020. The robot can listen, speak, and the possibilities are kind of endless for this type of humanoid. From education and care for the elderly to service in hotels, business centers, participation in advertising and promotions, public events and entertainment shows. Unitree Robotics exhibited several Robopod models at once and opened the show with a grand dance show of 100 Go One Dogs. Systems and terminals for remote control smart robots, various programs and platforms for training, artificial intelligence development, and cloud security. 
We oh, are a Hangzhou based Unitree company. It's been about six years since we were founded. We so, have an extremely uh, diverse product line. There are small, medium, and large dogs, and they all have different cool. applications. Take the small dogs. Oh, uh. They're used for research, education, entertainment, and escorting. They can be guide dogs for the blind, or they can help take care of elderly people at home. Medium and large dogs are mainly used for patrols and inspections at petrochemical plants and power plants. Robots Go 1 went on sale publicly only a year ago, and the company has already been able to sell about 10,000 copies. It's worth mentioning that Unitree Robotics is so far the only Chinese manufacturer of robots that's received the European, North American, Japanese, and other quality conformity certificates. All the company's robots can be equipped with additional equipment, including a manipulator. An underwater bionic robot was demonstrated oh, by China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation. <laughs> the GSY-3 Underwater Intelligence Bionic Robot developed by CASIC is mainly used to popularize scientific achievements. Presented at the exhibition, GSY-3 is made in the form of a spineless porpoise. There's two variations with lengths of 1.2 meters and 0.5 meters. On a single charge, these robots can work 8 and 4 hours respectively. Beijing Polytechnic University showed its developments including a bionic arm, a jumping robot dog, and an anthropomorphic robot, which, according to the creators, can run at a maximum speed of 7.3 km per hour, jump at distances of 1.06 meters in length and 53 centimeters in height. Direct Drive brought to the exhibition its mobile two-wheel robot Diablo on engines with Direct Drive. The Diablo combines the features of a traditional wheeled AGV and a multi-leg robot. Its legs can bend and straighten independently of each other. Due to its design, the robot weighing 23 kilograms can jump to 8 centimeters and the maximum height of jumping on the spot reaches 14 centimeters. It remains stable when overcoming obstacles with a height of 5 centimeters and one leg can overcome obstacles with a height of 10 centimeters. Diablo is quiet enough and can be used for patrolling in all conditions by complimenting it with a camera. It also has good impact characteristics and no matter how hard the collision is, the robot will remain stable. The maximum payload of Diablo can reach 100 kilograms with bent legs and 4 kilograms with straightened out legs. Operating time without recharging is 4 hours and the cost is $2,300. There were many industrial robots at the exhibition. Thus, Yaskawa Shaogeng Robot presented an impressive new line for the production of automotive battery components that consisted of seven industrial robots and performs ten technological processes. The line is equipped with a production management system to collect, store, and monitor robot and production process data. Beijing Lens and Tech, a company specializing in manufacturing robots for emergency situations, unveiled its latest Scout robot to the general public for the first time during the WRC. The RX-01 is resistant to high temperatures and can withstand 10 minutes in an environment with a temperature of 350 degrees Celsius. The robot is small and maneuverable, weighing 45 kilograms. It can move at speeds of 1.2 meters per second and work autonomously for three hours. When the fire brigade arrives at the scene of an emergency, it can first launch the RXR C120 into the building to inspect the fire scene, assess the damage of flames, and determine the vital signs of people located inside. It's also suitable for use in environments with toxic gases. The company was also the first company in the world to market the robot firefighter, which can withstand temperatures of 1,000 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. The robot has currently been used for several years yeah, by the yeah, Chinese yeah, emergency yeah, services. Yeah. Curious solutions for logistics and warehouses were shown by the company Meituan, which for 12 years managed to become one of the most yeah, advanced yeah, and technologically yeah, advanced yeah. Chinese companies in the service sector, specializing in the delivery of ready-made foods, products, flowers, and other goods. Meituan also provides services in marketing, IT, supply chain management, and finance. About 40 million people use the company's services every day. And at WRC, Metuan presented a smart sorting and delivery solution, including the company's independently developed next-generation unmanned delivery vehicle that has a payload capacity of 150 kilograms, 540 liter capacity, and the ability to cover 120 kilometers on single roads in a single charge. The company was first in China to organize regular delivery by autonomous robots, now operating in Beijing and Shenzhen. 
The unmanned couriers have covered a total of 1.5 million kilometers and already delivered 2.2 million orders in just 800 days. Wow. Also on display at the company's booth was a 3D sorting system that includes moving sorting rocks, a racking system with containers to distribute goods, and an operating wow. platform. The system can work in set mode without interruption even in the presence of interference. And at the exhibition, children constantly interfered with its work, but the rhythm of movement was not disrupted. Another curious exhibit premiere was an intelligent platform with two manipulators from the Beijing company Realman, which develops ultralight robot manipulators. The robot presented at the exhibition is capable of performing tasks independently with one hand and two hands simultaneously, just like a human. The lower part of the platform is equipped with a mobile robot which can move around and avoid obstacles. And in addition, the robot is equipped with a voice module and deep vision technology, giving it voice interaction and visual perception capabilities. The Beijing-based company Robot++ Plus Plus has been manufacturing special-purpose intelligent robots since 2015, including bots for high-altitude work. At this year's WRC, they showed the Hitchmate V4, a disc robot for removing ship rust, equipped with an ultra-high-pressure water jet system to remove rust and clean the hull of the ship. The 135 kilogram unit generates 3,000 bar of water pressure and removes 450 square meters of rust per hour. The robot adapts well to curved services and can be used for operations on more than 90% of the ship's hull. Medical technology was given increased attention at this year's WRC with AI robotics showing several rehabilitation robots and an exoskeleton that helped Chinese Paralympians participate in the Olympic torch relay at the Games in March this year. Sai Sun installed robotic tents to conduct PCR tests, which could be highly relevant in China where the population is still regularly tested several no, times a week. But the technology is not still. yet perfected, no, and the testing procedure is rather slow. No, no. At its booth, no, no. Beijing <laughs> Surgy Technology presented no, no. a Shirui robotic single port no. laparoscopy surgical system, which was the first in China to undergo a special testing procedure for innovative medical equipment in its category. The system no, no. consists no, no. of a unit with a control panel and a unit with a robotic arm and operating table. The operating surgeon is at the console and no, no. remotely controls a high-resolution electronic endoscope and surgical instruments. The system okay, allows for minimally yaar, invasive babu, operations on various internal organs of the abdomen and has already undergone successful clinical trials. Babu. There are many multi-port laparoscopy systems okay, on the market right yaar. now. Okay, Usually you have to make four or five incisions in the abdominal wall to work with them. But for our Shirui system, one is enough because it has its own patented serpentine surgical instrument technology. As far as we know, the laparoscopic robot is on the market right now, so that's also our advantage. We now perform a lot of surgeries in urology, gynecology, and general surgery. A number of surgeons are very positive about our equipment. And what solution from the exhibition did you like most? Let us know in the comments. And while you're here, subscribe to the Pro Robot channel, like this video, and don't miss any new episodes from the world of high tech. क्या बोले इसको यार ये मेला था या क्या था ये ज्ञान की ज्ञान का भंडार था ये ज्ञान का भंडार से कब नहीं भैया हुए समझा कि ये खजाना 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 है खजाना वाकई खजाना था ये सर बहुत बहुत चीज तो अच्छी बनी है बाकी मेरा देख के दिमाग खराब हो गया है <laughs> कैसी कौन सी चीज नहीं बची हो जो रोबोट ने नहीं करी है क्या बाकी क्या है कि चीज बनाओ आप बाकी इससे लोगों को नुकसान नहीं होना चाहिए तो हाँ उनकी रोजी रोजगार जो रहते हैं उनके उस पर नुकसान पहुंच जाएगा तो फिर वो बहुत दिक्कत में आ जाएंगे आप चीज बनाओ उसको सर जी हर क्षेत्र में तो जो है कि तरक्की कर रही है हर क्षेत्र में जो है कि आग खतरनाक जो है कि तरक्की ला दी उसने डॉक्टर वाला जो बाबू ने देखा आखिर में भी हैरान हो गया कि अब तो ऑपरेशन तक करना ऑपरेशन तक कर
Ta 